and welcome back to a new video with me Shruti. You're watching Living Our Ascension. Now this is going to be the weekly video where we get guidance from our guides um, for our ascension process. And before I um, you know, begin with that, I just wanted to explain that um, last week actually in San Francisco we had um, you know in the Bay Area we had these wildfires and I was having some trouble breathing and um, you know because of it because there was a lot of pollution from um, uh, the air that was you know the chemicals that are produced in the air when there's these wildfires and the week before that actually it was my birthday and I was um, quite sick on my birthday as well but I did post the reading um, you know the weekly reading on my um, blog so even though you didn't see a video if you're actually on there you would have got it so I just wanted to explain why you know you didn't get those weekly videos from me the past two weeks but anyway for this week um, I decided to do something a little bit different um, for the messages usually you know I already have the messages and I've written them down and channeled them but for this week I'm guided to just use these oracle decks and see you know spontaneously on the spot what messages come up so you can just join me for that and um, before we begin I'd like you to choose either number one or two um, because I'm going to be channeling two messages um, and just choose one or two both the messages are for all of us you know they're general messages that apply to everybody but if you want a more specific message um, for your week ahead then just choose either one or two so for this week i'm using two decks two oracle decks and the first one is these galactic heritage um this galactic heritage deck and um this one is really nice because it has um you know different star systems um, and these oracle cards and this background that relates to the different star system so it's a really nice deck to have um, then the other one that I'm using is just this angel um, angel tarot by Doreen Virtue and then we'll see what comes up so for the first one I'm just gonna shuffle the cards and um, see what the first message is Whoops. And so we get this one it says coming full circle and you'll be able to see it on your screen I'll have a picture up um, which you can pause you know if you want if you want to see it like uh, in a focused way also I'll be posting it on my blog so by the time that you see this video uh, you know you'll, you can click on the link below this video and you'll be able to see the pictures as well on my blog that I posted and you can have it on your screen if you want while you're watching this video so the one that I've picked is Eight of Air and it says an illusion of being trapped and a lack of self-confidence, afraid to take action. So the first one is coming full circle and um, it's the constellation of Sirius and uh, the card that we get is talking about you know is it has these unicorns that are just running so this is very important because actually you know this applies to um, something that's happening now um, along in our ascension at the high level and um, I'll be speaking about that in another video as well but what's happening is that we are getting these cosmic upgrades and this uh, cosmic gateway is opening up but you know often we don't realize that because what we are actually going through in our life can be a bit more challenging and that's what's happening now as well you might be observing in your life how these sudden moments you know this um, uh, kind of come out of nowhere you know things events that are happening and um, uh, it can be they can relate to um, these life and death scenarios and I don't mean like literal death but it can be those things that you know some events that take us into the awareness that um, of how important life is and just how lucky we are you know to be alive and just to be part of existence and so um, any 
anything that we held on you know because we can often as humans have these controlling mechanisms where we want to control life our own way and wherever that was the case um you know sometimes when these cosmic waves they come in they bring these events but you know they can just come and go very quickly like you can have a small accident let's say or um you know it can just be something else like um an argument that you have with someone that leaves you disappointed but then in the larger picture then you realize you know and it can be quite quick that's how it's happening now when a cosmic um you know portal opens up like this um it can be a sudden breakthrough so the breakthroughs are sudden and the events are sudden and then they just um um kind of you know happen fast as well and so we the very next moment it's like you know in one breath something happens and then in the next breath we suddenly realize that it was actually for the better even though we might not have realized or we might be wondering why is this happening and in the next breath we realize why and um what's left basically is this overwhelming feeling of life being um you know just us being life and how wonderful that is and i feel that's what's coming full circle is about because as you might know the circle represents source at the highest level the circle is a symbol for source and a symbol for all that is so we're coming back to source in that way and um actually it's really really positive and um you know um yeah i'll speak more about it perhaps in my ascension update but um if you if you chose this um you know this one number one then perhaps this is what you'll be feeling quite strongly during this week and unicorns as you might know are a symbol of purity they represent the soul um the soul in its purity and you can see that there's a lot of them that are running in this uh, image and you know they're coming from the mountains and they're heading into the forest and the mountains as well are a symbol of where um because you know the mountains are associated with that lightning where fire comes in and that purity again um because <clears throat> the mountains are where you know the water like in a lot of countries the water that we get that um for example in india you know all of india is fed by the river ganges and it originates in the mountains and so it's like the life um force that that is received there that is conceived in the mountains and then it flows and it um you know gives this life to all of the people in the whole country so it's something like that the uh, unicorns they're running you know as if there's a sense of urgency that there's this breakthrough that's come um this um initiation that they've had you know the sudden um realization that they've had about their purpose or you know and in some information that needs to be communicated and they're running um you know towards land um with the sense of purpose and there's many of them as well so this is um you know how we how you will be feeling if you made this choice is that um you know there's there can be lots of sudden breakthroughs and um there will be a sense of urgency then to deliver it into the world as well and uh, especially you know with seeing how many unicorns there are um you will have support as well and you might find that you know there's people um around you that are here to support you or who share the same vision or something will come together where you'll be able to collaborate with with another person um it also has the qualities of leadership because you can see there's one unicorn that's running ahead so it has to do with um you know knowing that inherently what needs to be done and then not being afraid to take action and you know to um to lead the way so yeah so that's the first message <laughs> very interesting now we move on to the second message okay so now it's time to um it's time for the second message and i'm just going to shuffle these again and see what we get oops Okay so the first one that we get is from the constellation of Vega and it says logic and reason. Um and then the next one that we also get along with this from the other deck. Let's see what that is. And let's get this one. It says page of air, logical, honest, impulsive, curious. 
challenging information, delays or changes to plans, truth delivered without tact. So here's the image. So I actually want to read from the book for the first card that we got um, and let's see what it says for logic and reason. It says in very ancient days, vegans or um, yeah, vegans <laughs> were very balanced in their mental and emotional bodies. But later their practices of discipline created an imbalance of logic and reason. They learned to ignore their emotions, judging them to be inferior to the mental experience. Emotions are an essential part of the human experience and must be expressed alongside our thought processes. Look at yourself honestly. Do you lean more towards focusing on the mental body, which is logic and reason, or more towards expressing emotions? Both are important, but in moderation. Balance comes from honoring both equally. So this is, you know, a very important uh, message always um, on our spiritual journey is the balance of, you know, the feminine and masculine, the masculine being um, logic and the feminine being the feeling uh, realms. And uh, just that divine receptivity is more related to the feminine. And it's interesting that both the cards that we got have to do with logic. The first one is called logic and reason and the second one again says logical, honest um, and truth delivered without tact, you know. So, um, so what I feel from this is that the mind, you know, the lower mind, when we can be stuck in some thoughts, some certain thought patterns, um, that is going through a rebirth this week for you if you made this choice but for all of us also and um, we are going to be more inclined to let go of some lower logic that we held on to you know to justify a way of being that we have so far been um, choosing and instead of that you know we are opening up to the feminine side which is being honest about what's happening in the body and how we feel about it instead. And once, you know, um, and not seeing that as a weakness. So once we allow that to surface, um, the actual truth can be um, shown to us. And instead of just acting out on the first thing that comes to us, you know, which is like a more like a reaction, because we have all of this logic laid out in our head about how things are and why something is happening. And we tend to just blurt it out in, in you know a situation but instead of that when we actually allow ourselves to receive and allow ourselves to feel then this new truth is actually delivered and we are shown um, how you know things as they really are so that's what's going to be happening and we are therefore going to be more inclined towards um, the receiving of higher logic then than this lower logic that we held on to is you know goes through a rebirth and instead of that this divine logic comes to us it things fall together like the pieces fall together and um, yeah the truth is basically delivered to us from the higher realms in this way and it's going to be something that's really illuminating you know it's something that can potentially change quite a lot as well um, in our lifestyle in our choices and really it can just urge us to um, put something into action um, and again it's interesting that you know the second the first message that we got also had unicorns and the second one also there's a unicorn you can see and there's this strong woman with a sword in her hand um, which again symbolizes this you know the strength of the feminine and fe feminine empowerment which doesn't only mean for females but for all of us because we all have a feminine side and a masculine side and they need to be balanced but she is um, in power, in her power. She's holding the sun, which is a symbol of power. She's holding up the sword as well. So the feminine, therefore, um, you know, the feminine within us is getting empower empowered. And we are allowing it to, um, to be seen and to come out. 
So that's really wonderful because that's the gateway to the higher masculine as well. And that's when our logic and reason really becomes sound and it becomes aligned. You know, it's, it's not just something that's going on inside our head as a story, but it becomes aligned with the cosmos and with all of creation. And that's when it can really have an impact and be something that's really powerful. So we are coming into our power in this way through the balance of the feminine first, which is leading us into the higher masculine. So I hope that this um, message resonated with you. And um, yeah, basically that's it from me for this week. And if you have been following me in my previous video, I announced that I have some um, discounts that are going on um, as part of my personal services. So it's like a 50% discount on, on actually all of my services and exactly what it is and how you can avail of that you can check in the description below.